Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Amawan coming to you with another lesson <clears throat> in the name of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham I want to give double honors to the apostles as always, who rule well and continue to teach us this truth. And peace, blessings, and salutations to all the brothers out there, the sincere brothers that are doing the work in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and of His Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So I just want to do a little lesson here just about, um, you know, receiving a correction and, you know, correcting, man, because you, you have to be on both sides of these things, man. But if you're going to, you know, like the scripture talks about the beam in the eye, man, in fact, you know what, let me just get that now, I said that. It's funny how scriptures just pop into your head. <clears throat> it's all through the spirit, though. So this, uh, let's start here. So it says, judge not that ye be not judged. Right, so like, and let me call that Matthew 7 and 1. It says, judge not that ye be not judged, right? So you can't be judging people basically on things that you're doing. Right, that's hypocritical. And, you know, that's one of the worst things you can do in general in life. And forgetting, not, not forgetting the truth, but. You know, in life itself, in or in or out the truth, being hypocritical is, is just one of the worst things you could possibly do. Verse 2 says, For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what me measure ye meet, ye it shall be measured unto, uh, measured to you again. So what you're putting out there, you know, judging people, if you're judge, put, putting judgments out there and they're hypocritical, you know, you, your judge, the judgment you're going to get for that is going to be equal, man. All right. It says, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy bro brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of the, out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Right? And I'm bringing this out not because I'm, this ain't to call anybody out or anything, but I'm bringing it out just to make a point before I bring out the other scriptures that, yes, repro reproving and rebuking must be done. But you can't be doing that if you're not straight with the Heavenly Father yourself, all right? I'm just going to put it like to you like that, man. Because we've we, we all, if not most of us in this truth, have been guilty of going off or not doing enough. And, we've had, and we have to take rebuke, man. We have to take repro reproof and correction, man. And if you can't take it, you've got no business uh, being in this truth, to be honest. All right, because it's always a learning curve. It's always growing. All right, you're always growing in this thing, and you sometimes you fall short, man. And that's just the, that's just the truth of the matter. You know when you get you know if you're in this truth, man, and you're sincere and you're rooted, you know when you're going off. All right, you know, the spirit tells you. <clears throat> Verse five says, "Thou hypocrite." First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Meaning what? Clean yourself up first before you try to clean up every other people, man. All right, and I'm I'm just I'm not talking to anyone. I'm just saying this. All right, if this is the spirit was on me to bring this out, you know, because you know I have to be corrected sometimes, and and I have to correct myself. All right, so I'm just putting it out there that. You know, we we all need correction, man, and is and 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 the correction is is for life, man. All right, I'll read that again. It says, "Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye." You see, so imagine trying to tell you know you know it, it's like you could. You know, you've heard that saying what some parents say to their children, do as I say, not as I do. You 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 can't teach that. You can't teach like that, man. You can't expect someone to understand and, and, and respect the, 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 the way of life if you're not show if you're supposed to be the teacher but you're not doing it. But you're telling them to do it. Anyway. So where was I? Second Timothy. Let me go back into Second Timothy three and sixteen. 
just a quick one here and it says all scripture is given by inspiration of 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 um of the most high and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness so it's all about righteousness it's all about keeping yourself as close to Yahweh Shai as possible man all right the correction is to clean you up that's why people they don't like it they don't like a lot of our people don't like to hear these words man because they don't want to be corrected they want to stay doing the wickedness that they're doing and you know fortunately for us the lord put the spirit on us that we want correction man we we understand the wickedness of this world and we don't want to be a part of it man we want righteousness on this earth you know doesn't that's not to say that we're perfect but we're trying to attain perfection all right <clears throat> uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna get into the scriptures in and out, man. You know, just a quick hit, basically. So Proverbs 15. Uh, and 31, starting from. And, you know, the Proverbs are good, man. Just they quick hit sometimes and they just get to the point, man. Just to give you those um, those life lessons, you know. The real life lessons. The real life lessons are contained in the scriptures, man. And they're for the Israelites only. Because we're meant to, we are the, the saints. It says the saints. Scripture says, don't, don't you know, the saints shall judge the world, man. And that's in and that's a future prophecy. When, when our people, when the nation of Israel come into power. And you know the elect are made kings on the earth, man. A government, a governmental force on this earth to give to give correction, because the heathens aren't gonna. Well, our people as a people will not need to be governed like that because we'll be perfect. But these heathen nations, they're gonna need that correction, man. So uh, Proverbs fifteen and thirty one says, "The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise." So that's wise, man. It's wise to take reproof. It means you want to grow. It means you want to change him and become better. Why wouldn't you want to improve yourself? You know, that makes no sense. 32 says, He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. See? So you you, you don't even care about yourself, man, because you don't want to, to, to make that, that, that improvement on your own self. It says, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Right? The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility, meaning what? You've got to be able to just look, man. I'm just going to put it out there like this. There's brothers, including myself, that are older than some, some heads, you know, elders. And we have to take reproof. It's not about... It's not about your age in life. It's about your age in the truth, in the spirit, and in wisdom. So we have to take reproof, man. Right? The same way that my daughter has to take my correction from me, I have to take correction when it when 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 needed to be corrected, man. So I have to humble myself, and that's the part of this truth. You got to be hum. A major part of this truth is to be humble. Because if you're not humble, how are you going to take correction from another man? You know, men are inherently pri prideful. It's just the nature of the man. If you're strong, if you're a strong man, you know, your nature is to be prideful, man. But there's, t but you in this thing of ours, you have to be humble. You ain't going to make it, man. You ain't going to make it. You haven't. If you're full of pride. Now, pride goes before destruction, right? So if you're prideful in this truth, man, you're not going to make it. <clears throat> Let me get this, because I was talking about um, talking about Jake not wanting correction. So Amos 5 and 10 says, They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, right? And why? Because the words that we, we come out with, the words of the scriptures, not our own words, the words, the words of, of the Heavenly Father, right? 
our people don't want to hear that because they despise correction man all right they abhor it they despise it because it makes them have to look at themselves man and it makes them have to look at themselves and examine themselves judge themselves and then they have to realize that they're going off they're being wicked and um you know in this world esau allows you to do you know basically whatever you want to do obviously there's some rules that we have to abide that people have to abide by in esau's laws but esau's laws those laws come from the scriptures anyway you know the obvious ones you know uh, uh murder adultery um uh, 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 thievery all these types of things man that that's those, those are scripture um uh the, the most highest laws man but when it comes to morals, Esau's not pushing morals, man. You know, morals are, are a part of integrity, and our people don't, our people don't want to have that. So what are they gonna get? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Second Corinthians thirteen. five says examine yourselves whether you whether ye be in the faith prove your own selves meaning what well, check your own selves man you know um when you when, you pr when something let's get that word actually let's get that word let me not butcher it let's get that word prove man strong's g 1381 Dokimadzo. Dokimadzo. In the Greek, Dokimadzo. So it says to test, examine, prove, scrutinize to see whether a thing is genuine or not. It says as metals, so you, you've got to prove metals to prove the, the integrity of, of, of a metal, the purity. And second, it says to recognize as genuine after examination to approve deem worthy deem worthy man so we have to be checking ourselves are we worthy are we worthy of serving Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai are we worthy of this knowledge are we worthy of of being um, able to wake up in the morning instead of dying in our sleep because the Lord has decided that he doesn't need us You know, so we got to, I'll read that again. It says, examine yourselves, whether ye, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Hamashak is in you, except ye be reprobates. So, you know, we've been given that spirit, man, and we now have to, we have to rise to that challenge. All right. In being the best that we can be as servants to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? This isn't a, this is no mean feat. This is a, you know, it's not a walk in the park, man. This thing that we're involved in. It's a serious, uh, serious matter. Um, so that's First Thessalonians 5. And 14, it says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Right? So this is the this is the giving of correction, man. Comfort the feeble minded. Support the weak. Be patient toward all men. So when you're reproving or rebu rebuking a brother, whether it be per like you know, to their face, or whether it be to other brothers that are going off in other instances and you just do you know a video that's just a lesson that's just you know on a broad scale for everyone to hear that is to not you know we want we want the sincere brothers who go off to um just like i want myself to be corrected we you know we want we want we want them to be corrected so they can make it man all right we don't want to see any um or anyone in the faith that's sincere 
to not make it because of, of you know their actions. We don't rebuke because we think. You know, it's not a hateful. It's not a hateful act, man. It's an act of love. That's basically what I'm trying to say. It's an act of love. And it says that. Look, it says verse fifteen says, "See that none render evil for evil." Right. So if a man's going off, you're not you're not doing it. You're not cutting because you're being wicked towards them. You cut. You cut. In, you might cut. A, you know, brother or whatever with the scriptures or rebuke, reprove, however you want to say it. Because it's love, man. So it says, "See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men." And that's all men, not not all men in the world, man. That's all men that are in the truth, man. All right, in the faith, and and that's all. And they're only Israelites. I have to just put that point across. You know. Um, <clears throat> Matthew, book of Matthew 10. Twenty eight. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, and he says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him. Which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right? So, this is what the correction is for, man. Because the correction is to, to put us right in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. Because he's the ultimate judge. Alright? What, whatever he decides or has decided already will go down, man. So you're doing it. This the, the correction is to save your life. Basically, the correction is to save your life, man. It's that simple. Like I said previously, you know, we're not doing it because we're trying to just jump on people for the sake of it, man. It's to correct, and not only to correct them. But so they, when they could become, or we, or myself, is corrected, then whatever I'm putting out there is uh, sincere, man, and in truth. That's why we say in truth and in sincerity, man. When we, not every brother says that, but a lot of brothers say that when they open up on their lessons, man, because you know it's one thing jumping on the, and just doing it because you got, to, you know, you got to get the word out. But the sincerity comes with the belief, the faith in what you're saying is true. You know, and 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 that, yeah, that basically that's it. I've said it. You know what you're saying is true. That's the sincere part of it, man. The tr and the truth. You know, so I'll say this. It's like, you know, if you know, if you know that you need to be correct, if you know. In your spirit that you're going off, man. Correct yourself, man. Don't wait to be corrected. You know, don't procrastinate over things. Because procrastination, man, that's a that's a that's an evil spirit, man. That's a spirit of um idleness, man. Right? And I'm guilty of that, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm guilty of that. And I'm trying to improve myself through the spirit to become a better servant. Of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, so procrastination has got to go. You know, why do why put off for tomorrow what you can do today, man? I think that's how they say it in the world. Right, I'll finish here. So Titus 1 and 7 says, For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of the Most High, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. Right? So in order to teach this word, man, like, like I said, it's obvious that brothers are in the flesh, so you're going to have moments of weakness in this in this world. 
But ultimately, you got to be the best you can possibly be, man, uh, to the best of your ability. Verse 8 says, But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word, as he hath been taught, that he may be able to, it's like that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Right? For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Yeah, man, don't think that, you know, everyone in, the, in, in, in every camp out there is, um, you know, at the top of their game, holy and righteous and pure, man. Because we see regularly enough brothers losing the faith uh, or, you know, going off, being kicked out. And, you know, you just, you don't, I don't want that to be me. The Lord has given me enough chances as it is to remain in this faith, man. I'm going to keep it real. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, what was I going to read? Okay, yeah, this is just another point of, you know, when guys are going off, man. So, I'll read that from ten again. It says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucas sake, which is why... Brothers are always going off on certain camps that are out there. We know their names. and Well, like I said, this is not a personal attack, so I'm not going to say those names. We know already. But this is why it happens, because those things must be... You're subvert, subverting whole houses, man. Whole um, groups of, of, of followers are being t uh, uh, mis mistaught, man. You know, and 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 it goes back to Ezekiel. And that's that their blood are on your hands. If you're not delivering the message, if you're not teaching what's been taught, then that, their blood's on your hands, man. It says one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. So that is the bottom line there. That's what I want to just get to that point. The rebuke and repro reproof and correction is to make one sound in the faith. Right, let's get that word. Sound. And then we'll close out. Strong's G, 5198. Ugiaino. Ugiaino. Ugiaino, so it says... To be sound, to be well, to be in good health, right? So it says of Christians who whose opinions are free from any mixture of error, obviously, you know, will replace the word Christians because we don't really use the word, you know, we are followers of the Hamashiach, right? Yahweh Shai, but we don't call ourselves Christians, man, we're Israelites. And it says of one who keeps the graces and is strong. So you, to be sound in the faith is to be in good stead, man, in this faith. Having the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding, you know, and delivering that same message correctly. You know, you've got to live these scriptures, man. And I say that because I'm saying that to myself. All right. So, yeah, that's it on that. You know, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. As always, I pray that it was. And yeah, uh, I'll just say shalom until the next one. Shalom.